My name is Uncle Moore, one of your favorite teachers online. And yes, I am here today for another exciting lesson. And we go traveling very much so boys and girls we are going on the traveling and we're still moving back and forth up and down over and under most definitely boys and girls wherever you are watching this teaching do not go anywhere you just stay right where you are now can any of you think about what uncle Moore is going to teach you today come on i'm listening for it i'm listening for it are you there i'm listening no not that one let me hear you again let me hear somebody else ah uh, i'm moving my hand i'm moving my hand now, it also is around us. You have to use it all the time at home or anywhere that you go. You have to be doing this and doing that and all of these fun stuff. Yes. So, boys and girls, my lesson today is about water transportation. Of course. And remember, we established that we can travel by three means, three mediums. We can travel by air, we can travel by what again? Land, and we can travel by water. And so Uncle Mort today is gonna tell you about water transportation. Ba -da -da -da. You know, when you see me, it's all about fun and fright and all that excitement. And so right now, boys and girls, I'm going to take you right into my exciting lesson. As you see my display table, it has all that you're going to need to hear and to be interactive into what I will be taking you through. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to give a little synopsis of an important fact finder, and that is about our Jamaican island, and that we have, we have something called arbor. Yes, have you ever heard of the word before? Arbor, yes, and this is what it says. It says that in the arbor, where it is safe, that's where the ships and the boats will dock, right? And so in Jamaica here, we are very proud to say that we have the seventh largest arbor in the world. Can you believe that, boys and girls? Oh, yes, it is. Jamaica Island, very tiny, very small, among all those countries, has the seventh, let me put it up, seventh largest arbor in the world. We can go five and two. Remember, all things are integrated. Whenever you see us teaching you guys, we are all integrated. You will get a little math, you will get a little English, you will get a little phonics, you will get a little reading, a little art and craft, because it's all about integration and catering for all the learners that we have in that remote space. So now, boys and girls, I want to show you a tutorial of what I am talking about. Now, when we talk about the arbor in Jamaica, we're looking at this tutorial. Now, if you look at it, this was taken from afar. Lovely capturing. And if you know where this is, right down by Kingston, right here, I'm very close to that place also. Of course it is. So when you look at it, right into the space here, are you seeing it? Yes, Kingston Arbor is the seventh largest arbor in the world. It is located in Kingston, Jamaica. The arbor is big for many boats and ships to dock. The dock is an enclosed area of a port used to load and unload ships. So actually, you see those boats and ships come by the arbor right there and they unload stuff. Yes, and they take on stuff and they move to their next destination. And this is our seventh largest in the world. Can you believe that? Of course, it is Jamaica. We are so proud. And while I show you this, which I'm going on now to show 
a more war stuff of the other of the pictures of the goats. Now look, are you saying? Yes. And it's a safe place because listen up, if there's going to be a storm or any kind of thing coming of the body where it's going to come, the ships are going to come off the sea or the boats come off the sea and they go by the harbor and they tie on to the thing right there so that they're secure and safe. So when the storm comes, the hurricane comes, they don't get destroyed. Are you seeing it? So let me ask you again. Jamaica has this, the, the, has the what? The sixth largest arbor. No, it's not the sixth largest arbor. Jamaica has the seventh largest arbor in the world. While we continue, boys and girls, about the arbor in Jamaica, we're talking about water. We're talking about things when you're at the water. You know, when it comes to water, children love water. And some of you may have your play play boat at home, your toy boat or ship at home that you can fill a basin with water and you can put it in there and you can splash and dip and splash and go all the way and all the fun that you want to have at home. Because listen, let me tell you some stuff. You can even use a little bottle cover, yes, and make a little thing onto it like a sail and, and attach a piece of paper, of course, and make a ship, a little boat, and put it in that pan of water and blow it like the wind tossing, carrying the boat along the water. That's what it's because when you come to walk to play, everything is just fun and more fun. Boys and girls. So let me ask you again what Uncle Moore is talking about. What's my topic? What transportation? Who said air transportation? No, I'm not talking about air transportation. Let me listen again. No, I'm not talking about land transportation. I'm talking about what kind of transportation. Brilliant, boys and girls. I'm talking about Water transportation. Oh, definitely. Do you know some stuff that can, are things that travel by water there? Can you tell Uncle Moore? Yes. Somebody said it. Shit. Oh, of course it is. What again? Boat. Uh huh. There is also what? That thing that moves very fast. Of course. Ah, uh, what, what you just said? Speedboat. Oh, of course it is. And then also you have one that travels under, what is it called? It starts with And listen to this song because this song is going to be a part of the Latin part of my lesson, very important part of the lesson, and the aspect of the lesson coming up. Submarine, there you go. Of course. And the submarine travels where? On top of the water. You may see the top of the water, but when it's traveling for speed, it goes where? Under. Ah, so there we get concepts. Are you following now? So we have the boats that travel where? On, on, and then the submarine travels under. Very good boys and girls. And we get the concept of counting. And what we said Jamaica has, the, the what? The what? Ah, there you go. The seventh largest arbor, counted Uncle Moore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good boys and girls. There you go. Five and two over here. When we put them together, we add them, we get Seven. So seven. That's it. Very good, boys. You're trying to come, come again. Come with Uncle Moore. There we go. Put your fingers down. Remember, it's all integrated approach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Boys and girls, I 
guys and girls, I'm loving you today because you are so interactive in our water transportation lesson. And as you see, I'll be going further into my lesson right here. So allow me to arrange my desk. Da 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 now, if you know what tune I'm singing, I'm going to twist that too. So I'm going to sing a song. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching. Watch it now. So listen to that tune, and I just quickly scribble this little song to introduce my other aspect of the lesson. Yes, watch it now. I'm going into a diagram. Yes, a phonics, a phonics diagram. Yes, it is. It's going to show you a mm and a mm. When they come together, they give us a mm. I'm not giving away my clue, but here it goes. I just scribbled my song because we have to be creative when we're teaching you boys and girls, right? We have to be quick and fast and ready to go. There it is. When the S and the H come together, it's a shh. shh. When the S and the H come together, they say shh. shh. When the S and the H comes together, they make one sound. When the S and the H come together, they make one sound for you to hear. Boom, 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 boom. When the S and the H come together, they make shh, shh. When the S and the H come together, they say shh, shh. When the S and H comes together, they make one sound. When the S and H come together, make, make one sound for you to hear. They say shh, shh. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Ta-da! Give Uncle Mark a clap. Let me pat myself on the shoulder. <laughs> Boys and girls, didn't you love that song? I love it too. Because guess what? As I said before, when we are teaching you, we have to be very creative. And we have to pull up things out the box and on spot at times and ready to get you guys so in, engaged and interactive in what we're doing, right? Very good. So right now, I'll be going into this phonetic part of the lesson. Watch right here now. My marker seems to be missing somewhere. Okay. Are we ready now? There you go. So, right now, I'll be showing you, and I've introduced to you the diagram. It says now, S, that gives up the son of the snake. And the H that gives you that, that tired sound. So like my Uncle Mona, I'm running, and when I'm finished running, we get so tired. So we make that tired sound. But watch it now. Let me show you something. This is what I'm establishing for you boys and girls. That I'm going to put the first, and then I'm gonna put the after, and then put them right together to give us one sound. Are we ready now? Uh, watch this now. Put your finger right here and go. Did you hear that? This is the sound I'm making. When you are too loud, I will go. 
When you're in the class and you're making so much sound or at home, mom would say, shh, be quiet. Too much noise. Shh. Now, Now, this isn't good. And while she's here, instead of saying girl, we're going to go shh, she. Follow Uncle Moore. Shh, she. Very good. Mm. I'm afraid of this one. Do you know what is this one? This one is called shh, shark, shh, shark. Who's afraid of the shark? I'm afraid of the shark because if they are close to us in the water, they will just bite us and kill us in the water. Sure. Very good, boys and girls. Shh. Sure. This is lovely at home. What is this? Shh. Shh. Sheet. Come again. Shh. Sheet. Very good. I know this one. Shh. What did you say? Shell. Very good, boys and girls. Shh. Sheep. Shh. Sheep. Very good. Now, boys and girls, we have looked at that letter, two letters, two consonant letters, come together, we call it, in the phonetic term, digraph. A digraph is when two consonant letters come together, they make one sound. Yes, just like when you have TH, and you have WH, and you have PH, aha, uh -huh. yes, PH, and we have CH, yes. Now we have SH. Now watch this. <laughs> I'm just giving you more visual. <laughs> there you go, boys and girls. I'm just giving you more visual for you to see. So, boys and girls, I have made mention of some words that begin with the sh sound. Yes. So now I want you, wherever you are, to give me some of those words that I showed you, some of the pictures, name some of the pictures. I showed you that begin with the sh sound. Now, there is one, let me give you a little clue. There is an animal and it's furry. It, yes. Yes, you saw it. It is called a sheep. Very good, boys and girls. A sheep. Now, also, we're talking about water transportation. There is also a thing that you can find on the sea. Do you know what it is? Shark. <laughs> no, I don't want that one at all. It's something that you can pick up with hand and you can put it to your air. Your ears, of course, you put it in your ears, uh-huh. When you put it in your ears and you listen, you hear the sound of the sea. Yes, shell. 
or we can, yes, very much so. We have a shell and we put it here. And listen to this tongue twister quickly. She sells seashells on the seashore. Repeat after Uncle Mark. Just that line I want you to say. She sells, she sells on the sea. Sure. No, that's a tongue twister. And you go by speed and you say faster and faster and faster. She says, she says, on the shore. She says, she says, on the shore. She says, she says, on the shore. And you go, you go, you go, you go, you go until you're tough and start to get tired of. <laughs> Boys and girls, this is fun today. And we talk about water transportation in our lesson. Let me go back now. Let us go back up further to see what we went on first. We spoke about the topic, and my topic is water transportation. Very good. And we spoke about what? We, talk, we spoke about the arbor. Very good. And what we said about the arbor, we said that the arbor is the Seventh largest in the world. Big clap for our island Jamaica. We're the seventh largest arbor in the world. Yes, and it can be found where? Kingston, Jamaica, at the waterfront, where they have many things down there to attract you guys. And there's a lot of renovation happening that you can come down to a family. You can sit down and just bask in the Cool sea breeze, wonderful boys and girls. Yes. And so we also looked at things that begin with the digress sound. Very good. Very good, boys and girls. And so we named a few from my pictures. We said she. And also, if I have two crayons, right? And I did this to my friend, if my friend was sitting right beside me, yes? What, what am I doing? Sharing, that's it. I am sharing. And also remember, sharing is a part of being kind. So be kind, if you have two things and your friend do not have any, you can give your friend one. Very good boys and girls, watch this now. Once we talk about sheep, we, we, we talk about share. We also look at shell, sheet, shore, shape. Yes, like you have triangle and all of those other stuff. Now, I'm going to show you something. And I'm certain you're going to know what I'm going to show you. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to show you a ship. In a very colorful ship. This is my Dagra ship. Watch it. You ready? Bow! Mm -hmm. No, this Dagra ship, I can show you how to make it. You want to know how to make this? This is very colorful. And this is just to let your little hole area that you have at home, your classroom section. Whenever I do things or any teachers do things for you, make sure that you make them and put it in your area at home. So you remember what lesson was done. So now look at the shape of my shape. It has one, two, three, four, four cut out to make the shape possible along with the ones at the front. You want to see how I did it? I'm just going to do it very quickly for you so you can see what what, what it looks like when, you know, the process of it. All right, here we go. I got my scissors. And here I have my pretty construction paper, very colorful. Right. So the first thing I want to start with, I think I'm, I'm trying to find my marker if it's right here. Looking for my marker there. Looking for it. It may be under the table. Rest of my foot are right under the chair. <laughs> Ready now? Under, under right here. Just under the chair. Let me see if it's under the chair. Just give me a minute. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Yeah. 
Now, let me show you what I'm doing, guys. I'm making my shape. Yes, as I said to you before, this is what I'm making. But because when I'm making stuff, I get so caught up. You might not be hearing me, but you're hearing me now. So I'm making my shape, which is my, my diagram, my SA shape, right? So forget about that D word. It's my SA shape. So in my SA shape, yes, the SA shape. So right here, I'm making the funny, the, the, of course, it's just to decorate it. So I have reached this point right here. There you go. And I glue it to make sure I have this. Now I am going to add the blue parts. So here I go. I go right here, cut a strip, cut it right there to fit. So I get it. So I make three blue, cut three blue strips right here now. Very good. Now, and what I'm going to do is glue them right to here. Yes. So I glue them right here. There you go. And I stick them right here. Because I want my shit to look colorful, right? There you go. So move along quickly. This is my SA ship, hurrah, hurrah. This is my SA ship, hurrah, hurrah. This is my SA ship. Da 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 ba da di ba ba di di ba 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 ba. No, this is what I have so far. So I have covered the bottom part, I've covered the top part, and now I add these three onto it. No, I'm cutting again. To get the circle, how am I going to get the circles? Watch Uncle more. So I go right here, cut, 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 and then I go around like this. It might not be as perfect, but I go around to get like the, that circle right around. There you go. So I'm going to do about four of them. Uh huh. It's very, very creative for you guys to do at home, right? See, and I cut, cut. And if you can't manage it, tell grandma, grandpa, whomever's at home with you to assist you in making the SA shit. Watch it there. Very good. See, you see how fast I cut them right out. Very good. See? Right here. And then I just quickly do this. One, 
How many straights? Two. How many circles? Three. And now take a break and I'll be right back for more of our interesting lesson. Do not go anywhere and I will pick up what I was doing. Thank you, boys and girls. Thank you for that,